Welcome to the Google Genealogist. We're going to do another video today. This one will be on Google Maps and Google Earth. We've done a little bit of this in part three of the Google Genealogist, but I want to show you a little bit more and specifically how to create a map of an ancestor and then record a tour and do a live sketch in Google Earth. So come into Google, do a search for Google Maps and you'll find it. The website itself is maps.google.com and once I come here I can do all kinds of great things with this application but I'm going to sign in and show you some functionality that I receive once I do that. Once you sign in you get this button called My Places. If you click that you can see in my account I've created all kinds of different maps. I did one of places I've been in the world and did little pins of when I was there and what I did there and that was kind of fun. I could put that on my mobile device and share it with people. But for today's purposes, I want to create maps. So I'll click this red button, and I want to create a map, and I'll just call it Pennsylvania Map, and then I'll save it. And I'm going to do a search for Westmoreland County because I had an ancestor that was born there. So I've got my boundaries here for the county, which is kind of nifty. And then I want to get directions to the Allegheny River. And I can see let me get that right that it's about 50 miles to drive there and I could do that by public transit or walking or bicycling but I don't want to do any of those methods because back in the 19th century when this ancestor was alive his family moved over to the Allegheny River but I'm sure they didn't drive and the interstate wasn't around so I'm gonna click this and draw a line between the river and this point. And I can see that it's about 31 miles and I'll just call this distance to river. Click OK. And then I want to do a place mark. So I'll click on that and I'll just mark the halfway point and I'll put halfway point and then click OK. So you can see I'm building my map over here which is kind of fun. Don't forget about the yellow guy. You can drag him over and actually see the um, street view version and I can see here now I'm actually on the bridge and here's the river and I can go along the bridge and just get a sense for what this must have been like um, and how large this river is so it's kind of fun to jump into the street view as well so that's my Pennsylvania map that I've created and I can describe it and do all kinds of other things well I'm going to show you another map that I've created it's uh, called Benjamin Ashby and this was one of my ancestors and what I did is I created place marks for points in his life that were meaningful. I created where it happened and then I described it. And then I figured out that this little KML button, if you click that, it will actually download a file for you here in uh, on your machine. And then you can pull up this map in Google Earth. So I'll jump into Google Earth now and you can see over here on the left I've got these points from this map, this little file that I created in Google Maps and it's in Google Earth now. So what I want to show you what to do now is if you come up to add and click tour then you can you can do a little tour here and I've already done that so I've got my little uh, tour bar here and then if you come up and you click this button is record a tour then I'm gonna come in here and I can click this button and actually record a tour so I'm gonna jump out of this and record a tour of this ancestor and just give you an idea for how this can work Welcome to the life travels of Benjamin Ashby from 1828 to 1907. We'll start in Benjamin's birth town of Salem, Massachusetts. Now, his family for generations were shipbuilders here in Salem. Uh, Nathaniel Ashby, Benjamin's father, was actually a shoemaker, but this is where the family lived. And he was born here on the 19th of December, 1828. After this, Ben and his family joined the church and moved to Nauvoo, Illinois, and they moved there in 1833. They gathered with the saints here, built a temple, and then were driven out by mobs. They crossed the river and went over to Bonaparte, Iowa, where Nathaniel, Benjamin's father, died on the 23rd of September, 1846, outside of this town. Mom took the children and continued west with the saints, 
over to winter quarters and they spent the winter of 1847 to 1848 here. After this, the family went west with the Saints, arriving in Salt Lake City, Utah on the 8th of September, 1848. After living here for a couple of years, Benjamin was actually called to serve a mission in England. And so he and a couple other men headed east. And in 1853, they stopped at the Washington Monument and actually donated a stone at this site. They went over to Salem, Massachusetts in 1853 in October and left for England. Benjamin ended up in Kroll in North Lincolnshire and on the 30th of June 1854 he baptized his future wife Anne Chester. He estimates that during his mission he traveled about 2,500 miles on foot and about 5,000 miles on conveyances of different kinds. He made it over to Liverpool and was called to be a ship's captain and preside over the third ward on a ship with 800 passengers in 1857. They left Liverpool and came over to Boston, Massachusetts arriving on the 22nd of April, 1857. So you can see here how you could do your own little tool, Welcome to the live travel your step. tour, and create it how you'd like. And then you've got this little button that you can play and interact with. And you can share that and uh, help others understand a little bit more about their genealogy and family history. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck in what you do, and uh, best, best of luck in, in, your, in your work.